Welcome back, everyone, to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be a random tainted character run for win number one and episode number 326. I did try and play another run yesterday, but my game immediately crashed, as shown here, so... That's, I took it as a sign to put that off and just make another video the next day, which is today, which is also this video, but regardless of all of that, your question for today is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below, how excited are you for the Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke? Also, we do get a starting uh, Monstros Lung here. Hold on, go back one more. Monstro, Mon, how do you spell Monstros Lung? There we go. Because we had Testament last run, my game crashed, not getting the Monstro's Lung, so hopefully things will be okay this time around. But uh, I'm excited, man. I think it's only like, what, one, two more days till the, uh, the Nuzlocke starts for you guys. It's like three for me. Uh, I'm really excited for this year's season. Because not only is it going to be more streamlined, having a, a quicker starting and ending time, but uh, the, the gimmick, I think, is a lot more engaging than last year uh if you weren't around for last year's nuzlocke run it was pretty much just you start on a brand new file if character dies character is out get a lot of unlocks whereas this season we're taking five modded characters i'm sure you all probably know this by now we're taking five modded characters and uh that's going to be our kind of uh our gimmick is just having very light mods and a, a good amount of of uh unique characters in there and not only that, but a couple brand new faces to the genre that weren't really, like, around uh, in the Isaac space last year either. Banana Resort. Uh, I wasn't too close with Neo Nami for a while as well, but uh, things change and, and everybody is is in, in their best shape for it. Now, I, I'm going to say it right now. I did go on record to say about, like, a month ago, well, like two weeks ago, that I have a good shot of winning. Neo Nami has been practicing pretty hard, and I would put him in, like, definitely top 10 uh, Isaac players in the world from a content creation standpoint. The dude has, like, an 11 ultra-hard win streak right now. That, that's a pretty hard feat to get, uh, and he's not the kind of guy to cheat his runs either, so... Ooh, certified mother banger this run? Hello, thank you very much. So I, I you know, I'm a little bit scared of him. Uh, I think the other competitor I am very, very scared for is the Turtle Melon, uh, because he plays a lot more mods than I do, so there's a bit of a disparity there as well. Oh, my cat is, is meowing at me. What do you think she wants? Well, it seems my cat did not want to play. I threw the ball with her, and she just sat there with, like, the widest eyes of all time. Uh, so probably not a good, good day to play with the cat. She's been very stressed out recently. A lot of you know what we have, like, we have two cats now. Uh, like a two-month-old kitten named Zimmy, and we have Beauty, who's, like, around, I think the, the vet said, like, three years old. So th there's a pretty big age difference there, right? And Beauty's a very lax cat, doesn't do much, sleeps all day, like, occasionally wants to get pet or meows for, like, a treat. That's, like, the most of her activity. Zimmy cannot sit still. That is like her vice, is if there is a like space to move around in, or like a toy to play with, it's going to be immediate. I, this cat has not probably sat still since waking up this morning, even when we're sleeping at night. She'll sleep for about like three hours, then she's up and at him, scratching our feet, biting our faces, like jumping off the windowsill and shit, it's crazy. And while I, I like that, that, that high energy cat occasionally, cause it's, it's fun to play with them, and they'll do goofy stuff like, you know, try to do a flip and, and fall over on their back or some shit like that. It, it's adorable. When you're trying to live with one, it, it becomes a, a pretty annoying issue. Like, I, I cannot stress how hard it has been the last couple of days to get one recording in without one of the two cats interrupting me. Uh, right now, Zimmy is still kind of, like, delegated to being in the bedroom only because her and Beauty Dude, they don't get along very well. They can stand each other for about, like, 20 minutes, and then it'll be claws out, like, fighting constantly. Uh, so Zimmy's always in the bedroom. Now, in the morning, every single morning, uh, when I wake up, I will let Zimmy out to play for a bit before I go for a run or I start working. And, um, when she wakes up, she's pretty calm, so it, it, it goes pretty well. But she's recently found a, a, a brand new habit of trying to jump on every surface she sees. The TV stand, my desk, 
the countertops, the stoves. Like, if it has surface area, she's on it immediately. Uh, and again, while it can be cute to see him jump up there, like, wow, you have some really strong ass legs over there. You're like two months old. When I was two months old, I could barely crawl at that point. That's pretty impressive to me. And then you kind of realize, like, ah, oh, shit. Like, if this cat can get up there, we gotta start cat proofing the entire house. We have to have her in the bedroom when we're cooking, because if the stove is on and she jumps up there, it's not gonna end well. So, when we're making dinner, the cat has to be put away. If we're, um, if I'm, like, not at my computer, and the cat's out here, and she jumps up here, I gotta rush over and take her off, because now she could electrocute herself, obviously, by, uh, biting the wires or the cords or pulling on some shit, obviously, but also, she could turn off my computer in the middle of, like, a video being exported that would ruin the entire project or, you know, ruin a whole recording session, anything like that. Um, and yesterday, that exact thing happened, where I was actually working on a video, and she went, like, I, my, I have a corner desk, right? Like, right here I'm pointing, looking at, like, my second monitor, that's the corner of my room. She jumped up behind there and hit the power switch on my, um, the, my surge protector that I had to, like, keep all my stuff. That was a great dodge. To keep all my stuff, like, powered on. Hit the power button, turning off my computer, my monitors, my, uh, my lights, pretty much everything. And I lost the entire, like, MP4 recording. Uh, oh. Daddy likes. We're gonna take the the good item and then because we have Monstro's long mom's knife now. My lord, what a great run! And Jacob's ladder, of course. Don't forget about that. Uh, and I think you're good to move on down. We're gonna look for our super secret room really fast though first because if we're going to go to our knife piece section or do mother, we're gonna want to have every advantage we can get our freaking hands on. I knew it was gonna be right there. First try, by the way. That I wait. I don't think that works. I, I I know it doesn't work with the flesh chest, so I'm not even going to try that. All right, you know what? Keep on going down. But she turned everything off, and I lost my recording. And I had to record another, like, 20 minutes. I was doing a video for uh, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, and I, it was like a, a no-jump challenge run. And it's, there's some pretty hard tricks involved in that, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was doing a part of this run for, like, potentially, it might have been... 15 minutes of me trying to do one singular jump and all that work is now gone because Zimmy thought it would be funny to turn my entire computer off and I was obviously a bit peeved but at the same time the worst thing is you really can't be mad at these cats because they don't know what they're doing they have no concept and it doesn't do anything it could be good for like a chest that gives us items for giving up an active item those big boy chests but uh aside from that I don't see it being very amazing for us. I gotta, I can't hit any of these boys when I have mom's knife. Use the fire, or there we go. Monstro's along with the clutch shot. Spirit hearts or small rock? Hey, that's one of the best yields a man can get out of that. Look at that. Things are, are shaping up. Orbital that switches between two different states every 15 seconds. Uh, we'll try it. <sighs> of course it was Aquarius. Well, if the game crashes, uh, we now know what to grab out of that room, huh? Because Aquarius, oh baby, with Jacob's Ladder, that's a, a zesty thing to have going on. And a black rune too? Gee, Billy. Oh, and a troll bomb too? Wow, I can't believe it. Uh, but these cats don't know what they're doing. Like, they're just trying to explore and she's, you know, just... She hasn't been alive for more than two fucking months. Like, she doesn't know what she's doing. She wants to explore and, like, figure out the world around her. I can't fault her for that. But when I repeatedly spray her, or, you know, like, use my, my commanding voice to say, hey, don't do that shit, and she repeatedly does it, you get a little bit peeved off. So I put her back in the room, and I didn't talk to her, or didn't, like, even interact with her for, like, maybe three hours. I was like, you know what, Zimmy? You gotta learn punishment. And apparently spraying you with water does nothing, because you still jump on top of my desk and the TV stand and all that kind of stuff, and... Apparently, like, yelling at you does nothing either, so the one thing I know you hate is being stuck in that room all day. And if you're gonna be a nuisance, you're going back in the room, brother. Uh, she is learning, though. I'll say that much. She has kind of gained, like, a, a bit of hesitancy when doing things that she knows in the past have not worked out for her. Like, whenever she jumps on top of the counter now, uh, she'll look over at me before she does it, and if I don't grab the spray bottle, like, immediately, she'll jump up there. So she knows. Like, she's not a dumb cat at all. 
She, she understands the um, implications of her actions, but she doesn't know that this is going to re be a repeated, co a repeated, sorry, consequence every single time she does something like this. So hopefully she'll be able to learn um, a bit better. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a little bit tired of having to be a babysitter on top of trying to record content. Uh, but either way, you know, we took on the cat. We're going to be able to handle it. It, it. It's a very awful thing to do. I didn't know it was reflected, but sure, that works for us. I don't mind that. Uh, the more you buy, the better your stats get. So go, you know, buck wild, brother. Uh, it's a very awful thing to get an animal that you are you don't know you can care for and then, like, give it to a shelter a month later. That's ridiculous. If you get a pet and unless, like, some new allergies are found or some, like, life situation comes into play, you are in charge of that animal now. Nothing that you do... Or nothing, you shouldn't give that thing back away or try and trade it off because like that animal relies on you You are that animal's life support if you're gonna just like bring an animal into your home Get bored of it and give it away. You're an awful person Of course, I'm not referring to like if you have an allergy you don't know about or if like For some reason, you know a, a, a Someone close in your life like passes away and you gotta move somewhere else. I understand that I there, there's sympathy for that but just getting an animal just to give it away it it boggles my mind and i there were people like that it was a very common thing in my town because we had two animal shelters there uh where you would just kind of go there just to look at the animals and that's fine i went there like maybe once a week when i was a sophomore to go hang out with the cats and walk the dogs but repeatedly i would see animals get taken out of that shelter and then not even like a week later, they're back in the shelter. And you can do test runs for sure. But like a, a couple of these, I know for a fact, were getting adopted for permanent homes. And the owner's reason for bringing them back was just like, it's too much work. What did you expect? What, what it, you know, I can think how awful that is for the animals to be brought out of a shelter environment and then immediately put back in. That confuses the fuck out of them, man. Like animals don't know shit. There's some pretty smart dogs out there, but still. Like, that, that environmental transition uh, usually never goes well for them. I'm going to do the uh, the boss fight once again here as well. Beautiful. No damage at all during the knife piece section. That's a great item for us. Tier rate up is going to be fantastic. And then I think... Uh, I like how the map is reversed uh, even inside of the, uh, <laughs> the good trip menu. But I think I can bomb you. And then we're good to just move on down. Uh, y yeah, no, thank you. Why? Where was our mirror? It was this one. Okay, yeah, get out of here. Going down to your next floor. Things are looking uh, real well for us right now. Well, well, well. We have a tainted item room. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this video game. Uh, I actually despise this room with a burning passion, however, but still, I can be playing a lot better right now. Uh, we have a tainted item room. It's gonna give up mom's knife. Uh, that is, I think, one of the only items we have that could potentially be, uh, untainted, or I guess get tainted, but maybe? Yeah, and I, this item's bad. You get, like, a bottle, you deal less damage, but the bottle can also break. I, I, we, we haven't had, like, a standard mom's knife in forever. Ooh, that's pretty good. So what I might do is actually just black ruin this, and don't take away a mom's knife, thank you. It, we, we made it into a tears and a shot speed up there. Essentially, toothpicks, I'm really okay with that. I just, I, mom's knife for going to mother especially and on the alt path is going to be very, very useful. Quinced as well, where one part can join, and now look at that. Uh, the vault room had essentially nothing inside of it. This, however, also has essentially nothing inside of it. I cannot risk opening up these chests right now. Uh, I'm eh, I'm not going to do that. I'd rather keep my key for the, uh, the shop. The big thing right now is just keeping HP high and looking for bigger damage ups. Like right there, a 1.26 damage up. That's huge. You can buy that, you can buy this, and honestly buy this. Sitting at a 7 damage with Mom's Knife and a really good tier rate on floor... This is floor 3, I believe. It's very, very good. Get right below him. Not a single attack out of that man right there. Instant death. Part spawn, even more damage up. Weirdly enough, that damage up was less than the Keeper Sack damage, but... We're good to move on down. But going back to our freaking cats, man... Uh, Zimmy, like, was trying to, the kitty, was trying to put her claws into an outlet today. 
And I, w I didn't even know Catch like wanted to do that. Am I that bad of an owner you want to like commit death upon yourself? That's awful. But he, she doesn't obviously know what she's doing. Um, so we have to buy these like special um, like uh, claw caps that are plastic caps for the claws so that uh, they can't put it inside an outlet so it won't scratch you as hard anymore. Because at this point, man, I'm so tired of this of this like kitty and or her non-breaking habits and it is the owners it is our fault we should be trying harder to break these habits for sure but we're, we're busy people man desi works four tens i work like every day as well neptunus oh you really shouldn't have does that even work i think it makes our tier rate like better but we just don't get the stat change it may not work at all i could just be talking out of my ass right there who's to say really who's to say uh but these claw caps should hopefully quell the issue. We can use these as a punishment if she's, like, scratching us or trying to put her claws in outlets or fighting beauty or whatever. We can use it in that regard, or we can just put... Are we gonna get another chance at the bottle here? Or something else? I think Jacob's Ladder has, like, a, a synergy. Oh, Nightlight does. Blue Canary spawns a cone in front of you that inflicts enemies with enlightenment. Okay. So it's a smaller beam, but it can deal damage to other enemies in the room that may have that status effect that it gives you. Equal to my, or scaling with my tier damage there. That's actually a really cool idea for a status effect slash item. It almost makes you wish that Nightlight was like that. Although, by itself, already a pretty fantastic item in my opinion. Don't forget about your knife piece. I almost forgot about the knife piece too on this floor. I would have been a fool to do that. And I think we only have one button hit right now. But I, I just... Uh, animals are a lot of work. But, you know, we already had one catch, so we kind of knew... What am I doing here? We kind of knew, like, what we were getting ourselves into already. So, we're gonna deal with it. That, that's the most you can do, is if you're put in that situation where you have a new cat or a dog or whatever, and it's being a nuisance, the most you can do is, is deal with it. It's your responsibility. The cats can't, like, fend for themselves. Although Zimmy was, like, either abandoned or never, like, picked up by anybody, it still sucks to be outside as a cat. Like, foraging for your own food. I can't even forage for myself, man. I would probably eat, like, a poisoned berry and die within three seconds of being in the wilderness. I don't know shit. All of my friends in high school, oh my god, I hate this room so much. With my- I'm excited as well, please. Thank the lord. This was the worst room ever made. It takes forever. Oh, look at Santa Claus, my favorite man in all of fiction. Goodbye. Give me a nickel. Could have been a lump of coal drop there. Would have been fitting, but I guess not. You give me. Hmm. Okay. The bombs are good for bosses, but I rarely use them for that anyways. And also, like, the coffee item, more damage for how fast you're moving. Sounds fun. Although with mom's knife, you tend to want to stand still to get a better angle on stuff. So I, I really don't see it working well for us. We do have a very high speed value. Uh, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Hey, I don't mind a greed fight. That's also really good for buying even more things and getting even more stats off of that. Well, well, well. Uh, but I, I would die if I was out in the wilderness for like a day. I could probably live... I could get my own water. I could probably be able to make a, a small, rickety, but still functional uh, shelter. And I think the biggest issue I'd find is food. Because I can't fish for shit. I probably can't hunt for shit either. I don't want that. I probably can't hunt for shit. I know I can't fish for shit. Um, we had this conversation on the four-player file. It was, it was an unreleased episode because uh, the recording got fucked up, as it always does with that series. And the question I had asked the, uh, the boys was, if we were all put onto an island together, like, and had to survive, what would your jobs be? And I believe that Script took up hunting. I took up shelter. Uh... I forget what Merm chose, but like the big things are getting food. Help me. Are you like eternal? What are you? Why are you like like lighter? 
Oh, okay, you are eternal. Um, this should not be allowed. You can telefrag. That, uh, sums up the, the mod pretty well. <laughs> the eternal one. You can also charge normally. And do... How did that bomb go so far? And you do fake-out charges? I am so smart, actually, though. That was, like, an ingenious play. I'm getting... Po you pull me in as well? You're a magnet? Oh, my God. These devs are on crack making this boss. Oh my god, stop. I need to walk through there, please, lady. Bait her up and walk around. Okay, don't teleport, don't charge. You charge, that's fine. It should be a very easy room to navigate. Got his ass. Last big room of the sequence. Was not hit there somehow, fantastic. Thank you. Teleporting one. Not a good place to get to spawn on, i tell you that much. I'm going so gamer right now. My tier rate is so bad, it's so bad. Okay, good, 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 good. Good fake out. Oh my god, what was I supposed to even do there, man? I don't even care to just bum rush it, man. She sucks everything in. Okay, I've never seen the eternal version of that boss, but it, it is genuinely terrifying. We already fought Greed. Just go fight your boss. Nothing could compare to how awful that room was for us. Two full hearts. There was my fault taking that damage, but still. Oh, I have the occult even better. And that's also two parts, maybe even three. That could be conjoined. I guess conjoined mom's knife is not... Okay, great. I'm not going to do it, because we need to open up the mausoleum door, and that's going to cost us two hearts, which is very valuable HP in our current state. Uh, I have the occult, though, being a damage up and also controlled tiers for other synergies. I'm happy. I'm real happy to see that. Uh, I guess we might as well take Curse Flame. I know it might break our game again, but Necrotic Charm is doing absolutely nothing to us, and if we do get a curse on an important floor, or you want to do it on the boss fight to get an easier boss fight. That would do really well against Mother. So we might as well grab this and just see what it can do for us. We also have a Reverse Emperor card, which I might as well pop right now. Um, oh, hey, hello, Rotten Gut. We, we are doing so much damage right now. This is a next chapter boss, and we are shredding. I'll just stand here. I have, I have no qualms about that. All the HP I need to spend is already spent on the Mausoleum Door. Look at that. Beautiful rot gut fight, giving us a tears up, which is not going to do anything, barely. I mean, it, it actually did quite a lot, but it's not going to be uh, noticeable on this current scaling. Either way, that was still a good card to find. I already went, wait, why is this room set up? It's uncleared? Whatever. I don't even care. I'm too important for this shit. Get me out of here. What are you? There's boils down here now? What mod wanted to, oh, it's hush boils. Well, that's arguably, like, even worse than a custom Gahana boil, is it? This floor kind of sucks. I don't know if it's going to be worse, but it might be just as bad. Uh, going back to our, our, our discussion, though, I think if I was with, like, four other people, I would not be the first to be eaten, but I would not be the last. Like, I, I would... Well, I don't have a lot of, like, meat on my bones. I'm a pretty scrawny dude. So maybe it would be more like... I would never... I would be, like, the last person to get eaten by the, the last survivor. That could be fun with Monstro's Lung, actually. Having even more Mom's Knives going out. That could be pretty sick. Uh, consumes everything. I don't need Wisps right now. I really don't. I think without Wisps, we're doing just fine. Sometimes, even, Wisps can be a liability. Because you have no choice what the item could be, and it could be really hard to try and lose one if you get, like, Isaac's Heart. So, to be ultra safe on today's run... What if we just don't <laughs> use that that uh, Andromeda thing? That could be good for sacrificing. That I might legitimately take and go sacrifice for an Angel Deal chance, like, right now. Hold on. Watch, watch this Forgotten play. One, with my cool little, little sword. Two. Three. And four. Five. There it is. And... Did not get the TP. You know what? I'll do it. 
Hey, get me a sensor. I'm not I'm not upset about that at all. It's a free item for us. The forgotten soul on the sacrifice room is guaranteed to give you a free shot at um getting the angel deals teleport as well as putting you one away from potentially as I got here a free uh, angel item do not knock on the souls that give you like character copies soul of uh, Jacob and Esau like these these things they can be used in more than just combative ways I don't want the reflected items don't look reflected right now and it's freaking me out they have a very small like blue tinge that's about it take this Uh, this could be good for safety, and then once you find where your shop is located, then you're good, there it is, to go fight your boss. You're enlightened, you're dead, and you are dead. Uh, and hopefully win the entire run. Molten Dime! <sighs> Have some fun with it. You know what, like, we're gonna get some good stats out of this. It could hurt us, and it also could make the run a lot more fun. I say you go with it. I'm not going to try and break the game as I did last time with it. That was just very, very lucky. But I am going to take it just for the fun of it. It is in the, the Nuzlocke mod pack, which uh, you can find on Turtle Melon's channel right now. I killed the... You can kill the ball? I never knew. Damn, nothing out of that. Take this, and you're good. But it's going to be in the Nuzlocke pack, so getting used to using the items efficiently, it, it comes in handy for sure. This could be interesting for us. Uh, I... <sighs> That's a rough restock machine right there. Here, we'll do this. Okay, you know what? Not even worth my time anymore. If it was going to be like four items, I would have gone and doubled that, but I'm not too sad about losing the shears, whatever the item could have been down there, or, or the blind one. Either one, I don't think it matters too much. And we lose that as well. Wow, you know what, dude? Fuck you, Molten Dime. Give me better item. Dr. Medicine restores half a heart each time you... Is that going to work as the character who only gets soul hearts? Probably not. Uh, but good idea for an item, if it would work with us, maybe. You're eternal. And you're a little bitch as well. Is that all you want to do on this floor? Why are a lot of these rooms being counted as not being finished on the map? That's really weird. It's a minimap API bug for sure. Uh, I, I want to actually full clear this floor. It is our last floor before the corpse, which is a much more difficult floor happens, uh, and I want to make sure that I am very prepared for that. This, this is just use a bomb. I'm not freaking with this room. Is do the spikes? Does this blow up spikes and these rocks? It does. Oh my God, Nancy bombs! I hate you. Huh? Corrosive bombs are actually quite insane, and an eternal champion room. Yes, give me give me both of these. They're not amazing, but we can reflect like mother's stuff back at her, I guess, if you want to. Not gonna say it's a guaranteed chance, but get him out of here. I hit this boss is awful. Get him out of here. Okay, that was my biggest worry. Was was that guy right there? Good HP on the ground. Good, wonderful wave. Why was nine lives just taken from me? I wouldn't have taken it anyways, but that's that's very sad. I don't even get the chance to dis nine lives. What is this run, man? What is this run? Uh, what is this room also? Just, just, just be cool. Be cool. Okay, wonderful. The lag is all gone now. That That is a very scary room. We could also find a 1% planetarium. We could find a vault, a dice room, a curse room. There's more stuff you have to do on today's floor. Um... Look for your secret rooms as well, before moving on down. I, I really want to make sure we don't lose our first mother run in like six years. I again, the Nuzlocke is happening soon, meaning I'll be forced to go to mother. Uh, I am safe right here. I'll be forced to go to mother here fairly soon, so I better get damn used to how this, this uh, path works. Now, where could the secret room be? Super secret right here. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, free HP, cool. Secret room, potentially... No, it couldn't be there. Right here? No. Can't be right there. Uh, it could be equal chance of it being right there or right here. Here? 
humor me for a second. Okay, you know what? That actually is a very uh, good spot for it, I think. Goodbye. This is not... This is Gahana 2. Right. You know what? I, I feel confident. Let's go fight the boss and frick it up. Uh, we are not going to make boss rush on today's run, sadly. Okay, good knife damage there. Watch out. I wanted to reflect that so badly. You're dead. Great. Do you want... I'm going to take the Polaroid for knife damage. Upon getting hit, we can just walk into a, a boss, and that can be that. Good. All right, here we go. I hate this fight a lot. That was nice. Reflect some stuff. Wait for a Dark Arts charge to come back. That's going to be a lot of damage. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18.62, huh? And you're a goner. Escape. Cool. That was a really well-handled fight. All right, man. It's. I, I think we're going to win. Amon's Knife Monstro's Lung uh, Eyesore Run should have no chance of losing, plus another Eternal Room. Never mind, it, it jawned me. That's a regular room right there. You're hilarious. Walnut? I like my friend leash. Keep your friends close. Well, there's the boss fight. I found myself a nice black rune on the ground. It's a rocket fight. We already beat your ass into the ground before with less damage. We can do it again now. I'm going to be a bit more careful this time, though. Look at that. That, that was wonderfully handled. And... That was a one-shot. All right. I am <laughs> very confident in this run to take it all the way home. Good item? It's fine. Uh, these are both not my style. I'll black rune that for damage and range. And <sighs> last floor to go here. I forgot how massive the corpse is, man. I, I was like, where is the freaking boss fight? It took me six years to find that room with a teleport card as well. Uh, very, very... Uh, not excited to go to the mother path in the Nuzlocke with those modded characters. I just, I can't imagine T Andromeda versus mother. I, I can't imagine, you're a mimic door, like anything like that. It, it does genuinely uh, scare me a little bit. It's a hard path to go to uh, because of the, like, you know, the one key, two bombs, two heart kind of requirement there, but also the floors themselves are difficult and bigger. Uh, and with a lot harder enemies and, and layouts and puzzles and stuff like that that I'm not quite used to. I might go to Mother again next run just to make sure that I'm ultra prepared, uh, but no promises. I gotta, I, I haven't gone to these like alt paths with the mod pack that much, and the mods that I have do add like extra alt path rooms and enemies, and I've only really ever seen the downpour with this. Thanks for that. We have to find the red room as well. I, I, I really want to find that. It could be a mom's knife brimstone finish here, which would be very fun to see. Goodbye. Just run through. You're at no risk. Nope. Nothing for you. But we're, if we just go to mother right away, we do win. Nothing wrong with taking the extra couple of steps to go and try to find some... I, I was going to go for like a really awkward hard call, but I guess it, it couldn't be here by the shape of our map. But... You know what? You win some, you lose some, right? Go into here. Arc. <sighs> Nancy bombs. Nancy bombs. Oh my god, it could have been an arc. Actually, it still could be an arc situation. Nothing up there. Nothing down there. This could be a, a restock machine I, I want to worth, or it is worth trying out. I can't even speak normal human being words right now. If we get a judgment card or reverse stars, reverse lovers, it's within our duty to at least try. I will not be going for an R key. I'll be going for uh, just a stronger run. Uh, not a run I really feel like I want to do over again. It's powerful, but it's also very basic. There's nothing keeping me wanting to go a little bit harder with this. Hey, this is a cool idea, having the, the skeleton worms on the uh, the dead floor. That must be... A, I, I don't think the base game uses those guys on this floor. They should. That fits really well thematically. Unlike having the freaking... Uh, 
what are those guys with like the the, the necrotic bone throwing dudes the homing bones on the ash pit as opposed to the necrop they're called the necros why wouldn't you put it on it the necropolis necropolis it makes it makes no sense to me it's kind of ridiculous but either way there's the boss fight uh you know what i'll make you a deal i'll go to my super secret room if there's no item giving stuff in there then i'm cool just calling it fighting mother and then probably not getting a void portal but still going decently far nice payout right away i appreciate that anything for me Nah, just some, some maggots and some poop. Okay. It could be a card for us in here. You never know. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. Uh, give all your keys to the key beggar. Grab the poopy heart. Oh, you can't grab it. That's very sad. I don't have any crowns right now. That wouldn't be worth it. That trinket down there. It rerolls your, your, your familiar... How did he pay out that? Are we conjoined? No, we're not. He paid out very fast. You know what, dude? Dark Arts is charged. Your knife is ready. That's a lot of damage right there, man. I'll tell you what. Pull a Hank Hill on you right there. I'll tell you what. I can't do a good Hank Hill voice. That's going to be massive. Okay, 11 damage. Nice call out. Do a two bomber here, maybe? Did not get it. I should have gone a little closer to, the, or not the wall, but further away from the wall. I would have got a two for there. Try it again. I didn't get my second bomb and put off. That should be it. Yo, the two for. Let's go, dude. So tears it there. Get hit and just pull away the rest of it, I guess. Look at that. That was a beautifully handled fight. The mother fight gives me no stress. It's leading up to the mother fight that I get a lot of stress. But either way, the run's over. If you enjoyed the run and my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.